Come on, admit it! You've always wanted to be like Indiana Jones. Traveling to mysterious sites, having incredible adventures, and discovering amazing stuff in ancient tombs and temples. Yeah, we've all been there. So let's check out these recent archaeological findings that stupefied scientists all over the world. Starting with number 1. 1,500-year-old jewelry trove in Denmark In the spring of 2017, Therese Refsgaard, an amateur archaeologist from Denmark, made an astonishing discovery on an island in Horsens Fjord. She was searching for evidence of Viking settlements on the island when she stumbled across a real treasure cache. Over 32 items of exquisite jewelry dating back to 500 CE. There were beads, pendants, a needle, pearls, and gold pieces used as currency back in the day. Scientists say this is amazing because it speaks to connections between the pre-Viking settlers and the Roman Empire. Moreover, some of the patterns are absolutely unique and have never been seen before. Hey, what could be better than finding ancient gold? Well, apparently, finding ancient gold that could surprise the all-knowing scientists. Number 2. Lonely Stone Hut in Greenland You might ask what's so special about a stone hut, but this one is really something. According to Danish archaeologist Christian Koch Madsen, the hut and his team found near the Sermic Kangaluk Glacier in southern Greenland shouldn't even be there. They said they had been in the area before and not found anything of interest. However, when they dug it up a little bit, they uncovered a single dwelling. It's very small, about 5 feet by 6.5 feet, and it's open to the wind from every side. Scientists can't explain why it's even there. The hut stands alone, literally in the middle of nowhere, and people couldn't possibly have lived there all year around because it was simply too cold. Have any ideas to help the archaeologists? Share them in the comments. I'm sure together we'll find out the truth. Number 3. Ancient Chinese Sword Used as a Kitchen Knife Now that's some story. A farmer from China was digging up his garden when he found a really old rusty sword. What would you do if you were him? I'd probably give it to experts for evaluation. Well, our friend wasn't interested in such stuff. So he took the blade for himself, cleaned and sharpened it, and used it as a kitchen knife. It took him five years to realize something was off about his utensil. I don't know, maybe the dragon engraving on it? He finally gave it to scientists, and they were amazed to see that it was actually a Qing Dynasty sword. They'll have some trouble dating it more accurately because of all the sharpening, but it surely has a lot of historical value. Ever wanted to use an ancient artifact to cut up some cucumbers? Give me a like if you have! <laughs> Number 4. Ancient Tools Found in Texas To understand the significance of this discovery, consider this. In school, they teach us that humans first arrived in the Americas about 13,000 years ago. Well, the tools found by a team of Texas state archaeologists date back 16,000 years which is 3,000 years older. Yeah, I know you can count. It stupefies me completely. Dr. Thomas Williams from Galt School of Archaeological Research says that humans were thought to have come to North America when enough ice melted there to allow them to walk across the Bering Strait. Yeah, it was kind of dry back then. 3,000 years before that, though, this passage just didn't exist. There were only glaciers all around, sheer ice walls up to 3 miles tall with no food or water for humans to live on. So, how did they end up in central Texas then? That remains a mystery. Number 5. Roman sarcophagus used as a flower pot. This one is even crazier than the kitchen sword story. A flower pot in Oxfordshire, England turned out to be an ancient Roman sarcophagus worth more than $364,000. Yeah, 
Well, at least it stood in a place of significance. Blenheim Palace, where the sarcophagus was eventually identified, was Sir Winston Churchill's birthplace. Before that, it was a residence of the 5th Duke of Marlborough, who bought the object in the 19th century as a garden ornament. Ironically, it was only noticed when an antiques expert came to the property to evaluate something else entirely, and his gaze accidentally fell on the object. Now, of course, the sarcophagus has been relocated to much more suitable conditions, where it will hopefully be preserved for centuries to come. Number 6. 14,000-year-old bread found in Jordan Yeah, you heard that right! This bread is over 14,000 years old. In fact, the archaeologists who found it claim it's actually 14,400. Must be some tough crust on that one. Anyway, there's an even more curious detail about this ancient treat. Scientists say it predates the age of agriculture by 4,000 years. So, people were hunters back then, but they didn't sow. How come they bake bread? Tobias Richter, head of the excavation party in Jordan, explains that these guys lived in a transitional period between hunting and agriculture. They gathered wild cereals like barley, einkorn, and oats, processed them, and made food out of them. Later, this led to the practice of cultivating the land. Small steps make a big deal. Here's a toast to some really old bread. Number 7. 8-year-old girl finds an ancient sword in the lake. It sounds almost like the story about the Lady of the Lake. A little girl by the name of Saga Vanacek was playing in a lake in Sweden when she stepped on something hard. She felt curious and pulled the object out of the water, only to find it wasn't a stick, like she initially thought, but a very real sword. I wonder if she just played it to the hilt. <laughs> Oh, sorry, the hilt is the handle on the sword. Now it's funny. Anyway, Swedish scientists estimate that the weapon is at least 1,000 years old, so it was forged several centuries before the Viking era. Mikhail Nordstrom from the Jankoping's Lands Museum says they were able to collect a brooch in the same area that was from around the same time. He says the place has been thought to be a burial site, but this finding turned the theory upside down. Researchers now think it was some kind of sacrificial ground, because there were no signs of burial mounds around the place whatsoever. Looks like the truth is yet to be uncovered. Number 8. Ceremonial dagger used as a doorstop Alright, let me take a stab at this one. Here's another unlikely story of an ancient relic treated like it was made for the mass market. A landowner from Norfolk, England dug up a rather large piece of metal in his yard. Once again, not realizing it could be of some importance, some, haha. <laughs> he found a use for it in his house. He needed a doorstop, and now he had one. The object was used like this for more than a decade until the man finally had doubts as to its origins and contacted scientists. The result of the analysis amazed the researchers. It was a ceremonial dagger, or dirk, from the Bronze Age. That is, from about 3,500 years ago. The blade was deliberately bent at the time of its making, showing that it was never intended to be used as a weapon. It was the third Bronze Age dirk found in Europe. <laughs> Some doorstop. Number 9. Thor's Hammer in Germany No, not that Thor's Hammer. What I'm talking about here is an amulet in the form of a war hammer wielded by the Norse Thunder God. No, not omelet, amulet. Many amulets like this were found in different parts of Scandinavia, but this one is different, like I would tell you it wasn't. This hammer was part of a greater treasure found by amateur archaeologist René Schaum and his 13-year-old apprentice. The duo was scouting Rügen, a German island in the Baltic Sea, when they came upon some silver pieces. With the help of professional archaeologists, they uncovered many more objects of value including that Thor's hammer I told you about. So, what's unusual about it? Well, the scientists discovered that the treasure actually belonged to the most famous Viking lord, King Harald Bluetooth. He was known for his wealth and power among the Vikings. Bluetooth united all the Danish tribes, and it was under his rule that the Danes gained victory over the Germans and Norwegians. 
And now, if you're wondering whether a similarly famous wireless technology was named after him, the answer is a definite yes. Now imagine the emotions the lucky archaeologists had when they unearthed such a significant treasure. Ah, uh, I wish I'd found some too. Hey, you want to be like Thor? Well then, just smack your thumb with your hammer, and you certainly can really be Thor. Well, bright uh, uh, I mean brightsiders, tell me, have you ever found anything unusual in your backyard? Or maybe in your attic? Share your surprising discoveries with everyone down in the comments. But before you run off to search for ancient relics around your house, make sure you give this video a like, share it with your adventurous friends, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Stay on the bright side!